Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown that how well analysis earthquake load according to PNBC 2017 and also according to ASCE 705 in Excel by using Excel sheet and uh, there other Excel sheet. So we have used that Excel sheet for our analysis. That is it. And if you are following my lecture, you know about that. And if you don't know, you can watch my previous video. For that, we have found that value for ASC 705 and 710 and BNBC 2017 by using user coefficient and uh, according to ASC 705 and 710. So after providing that value, we have found our that value you all know that uh, if you're following my previous lecture and uh, today I'll show you that how will analysis our earthquake load according to ASC 705 by using ETAPS by using that value what we have found from our calculation from here so let's start First of all, I'll open my previous ETAPS model that I have made that and uh, if you don't know about that model, you have to watch my previous video because I'm not going to discuss about that now anymore. Uh, it will make my video lengthy and so first of all, that is our model and uh, now I'll go to assign the load according to ASCE 705 for seismic load so go define and from here load pattern and now by using MS I have provided a load like MS and that was for our earthquake load you can watch my previous video for that so I'll use her ASCE 7 Zero 05 and here our load type will be seismic load and our load will be ASC705 okay it's done then add new load and uh, I just am going first cause I have, I have everything discussed in my ETAS tutorial series if you didn't know about that you can watch my full ETAS tutorial series then go here click on it and go here for modify so we have to input that value first of all i will direction and eccentricity i will take it as default my end i will consider that both six part cause or earthquake will not will come from only x and y direction it will it can come from every direction and here for seismic coefficient I will use the third option user define so first of all we have to provide time period so time period user defined t will get our value t from here 1.454 here 1.454 and then story range we all know that earthquake will work on base to top story okay and here factor r the will of r is 5 we found that 5 then extent over extent omega omega will of omega is 3 here 3 okay 3 it's okay then deflection amplification CD the value of CD from ETAPS uh, sorry from Excel is CD 4.5 and that, that value will come automatically when you will just change that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that only 12 value you have to change easily you can do that and then 
you will find that value easily so what is that cd 4.5 cd 4.5 after that occupancy importance factor that was from here importance factor i 1.25 1.25 after that we have to provide the value here s1 and ss the ss is nothing but the value of z i mean seismic zone coefficient 0.2 and uh, here ss s1 0.2 and ss 0.5 and ss is nothing but the uh, 2.5 times of s1 so 0.2 and 0.5 SS 0.5 SS 0 0.5 and S1 0.2 and long period transition period also will get it from our long period transition to its two and uh, for site class as we have used SC but uh, will not consider C will consider F so that we can provide the value of F and FB manually so here F A 1.15 1.15 and F B 1.725 7 to so we have assigned our wall data that are required for our analysis then ok so again ok so our defined load are ok now we'll go for analysis and from here set run and already I have disabled that two load BNBC 2017 on and model cost are the two value are not required now uh, only will analysis for our ASC 705 linear statistic for that we'll compare that result with our excel file so okay then we can take our model select wall joint okay it's taking if any problem found that it will show us okay they have no problem then we can go run easily so we are running or analyzing our model and uh, if you have any lag on ETAPS analysis then you can watch my ETAPS tutorial series the link are given in description below and also if you need any kinds of ETAPS version that how will download or how will access that for lifetime you can also follow my lecture that are also given in description and uh, to understand about that series I mean about earthquake analysis series you have must go for previous video and now our analysis is done and from here we're seeing that if we zoom that here here you are seeing that here is the value of FH gibbs and kilonewton so as we're considering the load are in gibbs so we'll load and force are in gibbs so we'll find out our analysis in gibbs value here we are seeing that our top value of x ray force is 21 here 21.69 and the lowest value is 0 0.4 so I'll go in ETAPS and for find out our value I'll go show project report and about every terms of ETAPS analysis design building check 
green color check and also for different types of check according to a code I have discussed in my tutorial so you can watch that I will go down to find out our value here here is for um, BNBC now we will go here Here is our wall data we have provided for here ASC705. And if we go down here, here is our required data that are required for our analysis. So we are seeing that the top value is 21.691 keep. And if we go here, 21.69, it is exactly equal to our analysis and uh, I mean exactly equal to our ETAPs and BNBC are same and here the lowest value is 0 0.4 and here the lowest value is 0 0.397 it's also like a spur and uh, if we consider for history F9 so 10.2 keeps if we go Excel where is the 9 floor here 9 here 10.2 the all value are same with x so after that we can go that conclusion by using that value we can analyze our earthquake load by using uh bnbc user coefficient or by using asce 705 by user bnbc you can see my previous video that how i have done that and uh if we if you want to do your earthquake analysis according to AST is 705 and then you have to go with that procedure and next video inshallah I'll show you that uh, how we we'll analyze this our AST 7 10 uh, version of the code and uh, after that I will show you about that board for procedure of earthquake analysis so thank you thank you very much and if you think that this video is helpful for you just press the like button so that i can understand this video is helpful for you